There's my boy. Oh, there he is. There he is. Studios Bane is found. Oh, poor Boromir. Poor Boromir. Weight of the world on his shoulders. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then that's it. Yeah. That's uh, Elrond being like, he's not gonna touch it, right? Gandalf's like, no, no. Yeah, you want that shit and where you live? Don't think so. Every corner of the West. By the blood of our people are your lands kept safe. Give Gondor the weapon of the enemy. Let us use it against him. Did you not catch the part where it's evil, Boromir? Evil. One ring answers to Sauron alone. What would a ranger know of this matter? He is Aragorn. You owe him your allegiance. Look at that, Which the first Legolas bro so moment. And like, oh, the resentment Boromir has for Aragorn is just all Denethor. Mm -hmm. This is Isildur's heir. Heir to the throne of Gondor. Gondor has no king. Move your feet. Thanks. Faster. There's a lot of great things to point out in this scene. Uh, Boromir is teaching them how to fight on the defensive. He's teaching them how to block and to parry, not how to attack. So if they need to be in combat, he doesn't want them... Like, fighting offensively, he wants them to defend themselves. Mm. He's taking the position of the aggressor. Gandalf, we could pass through the mines of Moria. My cousin Balin would give us a royal welcome. Ah! Ah! Sorry! Ah! 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 You'd also argue that he's taking the position of interest in these two. He, um, he's connected yep. to Merry and Pippin quite a bit. It's not arbitrary that he defends them at the end. I would not take the road through Moria unless I had no other choice. Oh, I love it. It's brilliant relationship it just, building. It, it's a nice, yeah, it's a nice counterpoint to his character as well, because it would be easy to write him off as like one dimensional of, you know, he's this um, arrogant, you know, proud warrior. And from... unfortunately, a large amount of people come away from watching Lord of the Rings thinking Boromir is a bad guy and a piece of shit. Yeah. Oh, oh, he cares oh. so much about the hobbits, yeah. Crabine from Dunland! Hide! Hurry! No, he's a good man. He really is. He was he's just very uh, good man. He's got flaws. He's a hero. He's a hero who's seen more shit than any of these people. Dude, his scene's gonna get to me this time around like it does every single time. It's a strange fate that we should suffer so much fear and doubt over so small a thing. Everyone's sure. so fucking frozen. Like, what's he gonna do? It looks like my, uh, the wedding ring for my first marriage. Did you throw it into the fire? I probably should have. I actually <laughs> kept it. I, it's on a chain and it acts like the one ring now. <laughs> you I'm can't touch it. it. It's forbidden. I can't touch it, though. You can't yeah. touch it, can't let it go. Oh, man. Give the ring to Frodo. And look, he comes through. He gives it back. Uh, even if he molds a little bit off to it. Yeah, a little bit of molding, yeah. I cannot. Said like a true cock. I you care not. Lot, don't you? No, it's fine. I don't care. Totally. <laughs> tussle the hit. And yeah, what what we come away with in this scene is everyone being more suspicious of him. Look, look at that. that. Oh, like so he, was, he was prepared. He, he was, was ready. ready. Oh, yeah. Come down. Boromir <laughs> getting his ass kicked. And then he spots who did that for you. It was Aragorn. <laughs> Yeah, if you had to leap over a gap like that, it's not far, but when you're hundreds of feet in the air, it's fucking terrifying. Yeah, yeah I bet you'd be absolutely. shitting your pants if that was you. And of yeah, course, Boromir's got the... He you got took the them both. Hobbits. Boromir, who stops him? Protecting him. Yeah. Because yeah, all the goblins are scattering around on the other side now as well. Yes, there is weakness, there is frailty, but there is courage also, and honor to be found in men. Yes. Strike out for Mordor from a place of strength. There is no strength in Gondor that can avail us. Yeah, Barm is. He's but just he's doing thinking a lot about. Thinking, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. What are you thinking about? You were quick enough to trust the elves. You've so little faith in your own people. All your life, you have hidden in the shadows, scared of who you are, of what you are. Oh, big important scene coming. Well, all of the big yeah. important scenes are coming. I will not lead the ring within a hundred leagues of your city. How much do you think you would have? They will find you. Listen, just lend me it. Just for I'll a totally sec. give it back, bro. And you will beg for death before the end. <laughs> This is the thing. From his POV, this seems like the most right decision. He's just a little hobbit. What's he like? A little hobbit ain't gonna destroy the ring after everything uh, has happened. No, oh. it is not your save by unhappy chance. It could have been mine. It should be mine. But it doesn't make any sense to let it just be given to a hobbit. He's like, just fucking give it over, idiot. Give it to me. No, give it over. No. Uh, but he realizes a little detail of making the wood shake. Yeah. Oh! 
That paranoia as well. Mm -hmm. So it gets you, praising all your weaknesses and fears. You will take the ring to Sauron! You will betray us! You go to your death. And the death of us all! Oh, man. This is Boromir's low point. He's gonna come out of it. Frodo. What have I done? Please. Uh, this is, dude, when you get the context of who this man is, like back in Gondor. I mean, arguably his best scene is, I mean, if not here, it'll be in the, the extended in two towers. I like the, him getting emotional over that. It's not just like what he did to Frodo. It's that like, he knows what happens when everyone else finds out about what he did. Yeah, it's just a weakness that's been completely exposed. Oh, this is the shit you can't help but absolutely thrive in emotionally. Here he comes. Barbie. Get in there, buddy. Yes. No hesitation, just charges right oh. in. Yep. And Merry and Pippin are fighting as well. Look at him. Badass fucking throw. <laughs> yeah, such a like. The music just stops for a moment. Yep. And, this, and that thunk. I don't know, this is just like this sense of this is it, but it doesn't mean yep. you don't you stop. I mean to go out like this. One day I'm going to force Jay to watch these movies with me, and if he doesn't like it, I'm gonna put him in a saw trap. This, so the uh I'm done, but then sees them and it's like no fuck, I'm not done. The endurance of a fucking human spirit, that's all this comes across to me. He's not gonna stop until he absolutely can't go on. The third arrow. Which to me is the correct amount. You don't want it to get extreme, like a thousand arrows, but you also want it to be more than one or two. Yep. It's just too many. And yeah, I love what um, Pippin has to say about this to Denethor as well. It's recognized. Uh, and it, it all goes back to the scenes with Aragorn and you know, the Council of Elrond, right? Where he's talking about man's ability to defend Middle Earth for, you know, on behalf of all the other races. Man's strength and courage, like that's something that's present, that's something to preserve. That man could defend the world from darkness, right? Like, that, like that's his insecurities as a person that he, whether he's enough to be that protector. And of course his last moments are that of failing as a protector. To never know if Merry and Pippin are actually going to be safe. It's like a perfect microcosm of the the overall insecurities he has as Gondor in Middle Earth, but Boromir to these two. It's absolutely tragic, but uh, bloody brilliant. Facing that arrow like a champ as well. Yeah. They took the little ones. He's down. Frodo. Where is Frodo? The Feel first thing that he shame. says. The first thing he says, they took the little ones. Yeah. I tried to take the ring from him. Forgive me. I did not see him. Because that's what he is at the core. He's a protector of people. That's his whole role. And that's where the insecurity stems from, is not being able to fulfill that role. They have failed you all. No more, man. You fought bravely. It is over. The world of men will fall. It's that simultaneous, like, I would have loved to have seen what this story would have looked like if Barmia made it. No one come to darkness. And my shit to ruin. But also, like, it would have been very interesting because it would have been like very important. Yeah. I will not let the White City fall. Our people fail. But uh, there's something so important about him recognizing Aragorn's role as well. Our people. Our people. Yeah, absolutely pitch perfect. Wouldn't change a thing.
this man who's been brought up under the shadow of, of a person who's desperate to prove that they like control you know like Denethor's got a lot of insecurities that I think really help inform Barmia's point of view which is that they need to make sure they earn their right to be in essentially control of Minas Tirith until you know the line of kings returns and so like they not only need to inspire they need to be strong they need to be courageous they need to show the rest of Middle Earth that they're the ones that can protect they're the ones that have been given this responsibility and that they can pull through with it and they do Boromir being the one that we get told is is regularly like keeping our Gilead uh, within the realm of men instead of allowing it to fall to Mordor and then being sent to go and grab this weapon that's going to end it it's going to destroy Mordor forever and he's like that's kind of exciting that's kind of invigorating he gets there and all these people are like we're going to destroy it we're going we're to hand it to some fucking child basically and he's like what in the hell are you guys talking about and then you know because he has respect for Elrond and the nature of the elves and stuff and he's like okay fine I'll go with you and I'll, I'll ensure this to happen spends the whole time ensuring the safety of the fellowship but at the same time falling gradually to the temptation of the ring which is something that i always find is a really interesting variable for all the characters to have to deal with that, that ring that fucking ring is bringing him down all the time and yeah of course he breaks one of the little bits that i really uh noticed on a recent wash through was when they arrive at um i, I forget the place where it's basically i'm on head and they're all getting off the boats everyone's basically fine and uh and the camera hangs on him for a little bit and he's just fucking like he can't handle it anymore he's constantly thinking about it and he's like shaking a bit looking down just like oh okay like because it's, it's, it's all he's he's thinking about he talks about when he, when we reach galadriel right that she tells him don't worry like men will be fine gondor won't fall and he all he says to Aragorn is, i don't believe her it's not gonna happen man is like doomed we have to get the ring it's the most important thing ever and his um his interest his desperation to get that thing it just represents the fact that he wants to save the world he wants to protect people and he knows he's gonna fail without it and then he he has his moment with frodo which uh is his obviously low point which brings you right into his highest point which is uh sacrificing himself to save two people and those three arrows that that the way that he goes down it's like one of the most heroic deaths in all of media always stuck with me and uh yeah the everything he says to aragorn i love that aragorn takes the moment to inspire him and tell him like it's gonna be okay like right before he dies he tells him everything he wants to hear which is that man will be saved that aragorn won't let them fail and that uh Barmia did his job is uh there's nothing to be ashamed of he did everything right sort of thing it's uh oh he's great <laughs> Yo, the Chad! Those that claim to oppose the enemy would do well not to hinder us. The enemy? His sense of duty was no less than yours, I deem. You wonder what his name is. A lot to throw on us suddenly. Uh -huh. And that, I think, is in an extended scene, too. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it is, yeah. Shockingly. Where he came from, if he was really evil at heart. Gives us a good insight into Faramir right off the bat. Yep. He ain't no simple guy. War will make corpses of us all. War will make corpses of us all. Except the lucky <laughs> victory a, royale winners. What a blast of character so quickly. Oh yeah. So quickly. Something has happened to Boromir, we would have you tell us. His horn washed up upon the riverbanks, cloven in two. Who is my brother? I used to call him bro Amir. Bro bro and bro Amir. Bora bro. Bro Amir. Do you think part of the concern for Frodo there is like, I hope you're not Gonna share oh, Baromir's yeah. values. Yeah, exactly. Because Frodo didn't get to see what Baromir did. Yeah, that's right. There's different information, you know, if he didn't get to see the uh, redemption story. I like Here that he did Van Helsing after this. Yeah. And 300, right? Yes. So he was in there yeah. too. Well, mm -hmm. apparently he did Van Helsing because he wanted to go for the exact opposite character that he played in this. And that he did. And so it shall be once more! Oh, Barney. Yeah, exact opposite like level of quality, things. too. I love Van Helsing, how they... <laughs> Look at that. I like it, too, but... Oh, that it ain't armor. the same level as this. That armor is so good. There's no man boobs on it. Yeah, it looks good. It's not overly complex. No it moves. just looks good. God, those pictures comparing this armor yeah. to the Rings of Power armor is insane. It's... Yeah, that, that's, that new in our stuff looks fucking stanky. Good speech. Nice and short. Leaves more time for drinking. Ha <laughs> 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 bro. Bro. Sean Bean has such a good smile. Yeah. Now when you finish, say more mead, wench, and throw it on the ground. <gasps> Come to the carpenter. Oh, shit. No. Oh. He's here. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta yeah, love their good. relationship right before uh, he arrives. <laughs> like, uh, and there's just this obvious, like, yeah, Barbie but... knows exactly what the dynamic is. Denethor kind of... is obsessed with Boromir, and Boromir like fucking hates him too. <laughs> He's like this asshole. They say you vanquished the enemy almost single-handed. It's like that victory belongs to awkward Faramir also. Tolerance of it though. But for Faramir, the city would still be standing. Always you cast a poor reflection on me. You give him no credit, and yet he tries to do your will. 
I fucking love you, Boromir. Yeah, I know his uses and they are few. Jeez. Damn. What a brutal. Boromir's like, you are a dick. Boromir is so good in all of his deleted scenes, too. For which there seem to be a lot. The One Ring. Oh, that look on his face. It just, it, yeah, it's like the folly, but also the hope of, like, winning. Massive, fresh army. Bring me back this mighty gift. Oh, no. My place is here with my people. Not in Rivendell. It's so amazing. <laughs> like, it's just, why would you get rid of it, though? Good God, if Faramir had gone to Rivendell instead. If yeah. only, what would have fucking happened? What would have happened? Faramir is, he's kind of got a purity to him. He didn't take the ring. Send me in his stead. A chance for Faramir, Captain of Gondor, to show his quality. Faramir wanted the ring to protect Gondor, sure, but so much of it was like, I want my dad to fucking respect me. I try so goddamn hard. <laughs> Maybe if I give him the one ring, he will like me. Yeah. And then he's like, nah, the ring's fucking evil. You guys better blow it up. <laughs> this is shit. It killed Boromir. Oh, yeah. It's a big deal when they Sam tells Faramir what Boromir did. Drove your brother mad. It's the last time they ever saw each other. Oh, jeez. Oof. You, was it... <laughs> Not to spotlight you, but was it, uh, Drink, did you say, like, you thought Faramir was probably one of the lesser awesome characters? Could it Whoa. be because you, uh, you're more familiar with the theatrical versions? I mean, it's gonna be partly that, um, yeah, I mean, renounce, just renounce generally... Your ways. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be honest here, there is a lot of awesome characters to pick from. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's why I choosing. Guess, like, it's not. Yeah, it's not so much like oh, he's a shit character or anything. It's more, uh, you know, up against Big the least. East. The least best is the yeah. Yeah, and not even like the least best, but he's like the lower tier of awesomeness. I think he's. I think he's one of the higher tiers. I think he's really excellent and complex. And you put him say. above how many people? Uh, uh, eighteen. Whoa! Name them. Oh. Um, you know that farmer guy uh, uh, who gets fucking killed by the Nazgul? Aww. Uh, that guy, yeah, he's above him. Does this, uh, those two guys, and those two, those four guys, he's above them. Ring of power within my grasp. It's just nuts, man. Without those Faramir yeah. scenes, this scene means different things. Yeah, it, it, it really, like, man, I understand that you gotta cut stuff because you gotta get it to a certain runtime for theaters, but like, Fuck, man. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Chance for Faramir to show his quality. There's an irony to it, because he does end up showing his quality. Wonderful. I think Faramir and Frodo are having a competition to be the weirdest right now. Sam is the totally, like, the out-of-the-loop one. No! Stop it! He's got to destroy it! Will you not help him? The ring will go to Gondor. Ooh. That's lame. But it's not the end. The ring drove your brother mad! That look, that Watch subtle look. Yeah, it gets to him. Then it is forfeit. Then it's forfeit. Faramir coming through. Yep. That's and that's right. what I mean. I, I feel like the scenes in Osciliath really inform this decision. Did he show his quality? Ah, oh. <laughs> uh, don't do this to me. No. Just in case I was me. just starting to get <laughs> over it. No. <laughs> I'll never get over it. Oh, drag me right back in. He failed defending us from many foes. Hit me in. Just that little quick shot where he kneeled before Gandalf, it looks so good. It's all very important to maintain the fantasy of it, isn't it? There's that impulsive Pippin, but who feels honor impulsive, bound Impulsive, but very, very, very interesting as a choice mm -hmm. that you would make instantly. The mightiest man may be slain by one arrow. Boromir was pierced by many. This was yours? Yes, it was mine. My father had it made for me. Back before he hated me. I'm taller than you were then, though I'm not likely to grow anymore. Except sideways. <laughs> Boromir was always the soldier. Man. Yep, there's just so much going on. I think you have strength of a different kind. And one day your father will see it. Or he won't. Or he will as he's fucking burning to death. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. I wish now that our places had been exchanged. That I had died and Boromir had lived. Yes. I mean, that's not a huge surprise. He's kind of an ass. Since you were robbed of Boromir. I will do what I can in his stead. That's his role in this film, because we don't get to have Sean Bean's Barmia, we have him. If I should return, think better of me, father. 
That will depend on the manner of your return. If he just had that full auto crossbow from Van Helsing, he would have totally That's taken true. Osgiliath. Osgiliath would have never fallen if he had the full auto crossbow. Especially with the holy water oh, variable. Oh, the bonus, well. yeah, yeah, damage against yeah, evil. Symbolism. Denethor just eating like a fucking pig. Meanwhile, all of these men riding out to their needless deaths. Needless deaths. This crazy asshole, yeah. And then when you add on the elements as well, right, of, of Boromir and Faramir as like a, a big motivating element of this happening in the first place.